You're watching too much true crime. <laughs> you practicing? You gonna put me in one? <laughs> All right, so today we have part two of the garden prep and today we are also going to be planting something. We've never grown it before. We're so excited. Can you tell what it is? Can you? No, it's not a tree. It's not just some sticks. What is it girls? What are we growing? Grapes. Grapes. So we've got two types here. We have a red flame and a hemrod. They are both self-pollinating, so which means that it does not require a pollinator to make it to make it actually fruit. So it will bloom and it will uh, pollinate itself. Everything should have should have settled fairly well. It was so funny. I actually went out here this morning to just check on everything outside, check on the chickens. And Cletus, our barn cat, was just laying laying over here and then the birds have been coming down and really working through it Halfway. yeah I wanna help. how does it is it better like yeah. not as soft yeah yeah compact it down a little bit it looks so pretty all our hard work yesterday and it looks good still we are going to do our rows uh, east to west so it's gonna go the short way of the garden so we will just have to be mindful of the things that get really tall we'll need to put them on the right north. north end we'll need to put them on the north end so that way they don't put shade over things that would need full sun so all right we're gonna get smoothing it all out Do that dad you can go get the fabric and the staples yeah staples I'll help. are in those, that bag on the yeah, porch bench Okay, we got it all smoothed out. Now we're gonna lay the weed fabric down. And when you put the woven weed fabric down, you wanna overlap it about six inches. And you'll kind of see what we mean when we start to do it. And that is because you don't want your weeds to grow up in between. Like if you, if you just put them flush together, then weeds can, they're gonna find any way to escape. They're gonna find, the path of least resistance so they're going to grow to where that gap in the fabric is even if it's just a minuscule of space we also got garden staples that we're going to probably put every few inches to also help keep it maintained and then the other extra little tidbit to note is that when we put the weed fabric down we're gonna so this is the line you can see the line of where the fence goes we're gonna overlap a little bit and put the weed fabric slightly outside of it so that way when we lay the fence down the fencing the t-post will help hold the fabric in but then also when justin mows or weed eats or whatever uh because it, we don't have to worry about overgrowth into the garden because that was a problem we ran into last year is we did not do any kind of weed barrier and so the grass grew up into the fence and it's really hard to weed eat that because it's just what is it called rabbit fencing wire it's just rabbit wire fencing so lily don't do that please so anyway all right we're gonna get to work
what's that saying, babe? Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, order once. <laughs> we literally have one piece left. Justin just went inside to go get the grapes. Take me to the house. No, you can walk though. So we got most of it done, except for this little part right here. So that's the suck. But oh well. We're gonna get the grapes in the ground. We're not gonna be able to put the fence back up because, well, we don't have it all completely done. Okay, I had to switch cameras. Our battery died. So Justin's got the grapes. Oh, we have to be able to plant the entire root ball down into the ground. So obviously we've put the weed fabric down. So the plan is, is that we're just gonna pull back where we're gonna plant it at. We're gonna pull back the fabric and then plant it and then basically cut a slit in the wheat, in the wheat fabric, weed fabric, a uh, woven weed fabric to, what is that? Just water gel. Oh. Um, so that way it kind of fits over it and it will still be protected, protected from the weeds. So now, but first we have to measure and figure out where we're putting it because the trellis is going to be 18 feet long, correct? Yeah. yeah. End, to end. end to end will be 18 feet with a post in the middle at nine feet. And then the, each grape will go in between each section. So, all right, we're going to figure this out. So what, the fence is gonna go like right here. Uh -huh. So you wanna come in like a foot from that. So this is the center? No, oh, I told you I was gonna be center. That's where one of the plants is going. Okay, that's what I'm asking you. What's going there? <laughs> Grapes like, they like, is that a root? I think so. They like sandy clay soil because they like to be able to drain. They don't do well if they get overly watered. Halfway there. <laughs> Listen, we're watching too much true crime. <laughs> Practicing? You gonna put me in one? <laughs> you wouldn't get away with it. It'd take you 24 hours to dig a hole for me.
feel like you're I have to raise the tag, label tag, because I mean that's sitting right on the root ball. The what ball? <laughs> <laughs> the what ball? Root. <laughs> root? Say root. let it go. I, I rotated it because it already had an arm growing that way and then it's got an arm growing this way. Oh, look at that smarty pants. You didn't think about that on that one, did you? No, I did, but you twisted it. You didn't say anything, Dina. It's too late. <laughs> Nobody wants to see me. Yeah, they do. Oh, they you don't. studly little studly muffin, you. Can I edit that out? <laughs> <Nerp>. <laughs> okay, let's close this up. Soul's drying. <laughs> all right i think that's it is that it yep that's all we can do today we'll have to get some more where did you say that you saw somebody said they got Sam. sam's so because we ordered this online from i can't remember where i mean it was a decently priced and another uh, oh, yeah, uh, another YouTuber recommended them. I'm very impressed with the quality. I mean, not that I have a lot to compare it to. This is the first time we've used in. We've used in? Now, I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to spoke. This is the first time that we've used woven weed fabric the last three years. We did not. And of course, we've always had problems with weeds so hopefully this will help do the trick but this is also the first year that we are growing the capacity that we are growing at so next up we've got to get the shelf built because i've got to start some seeds i'm going to do some brassicas and celery so well we do have enough of that weed fabric that we'll be able to put it in the raised beds over there, which will be Ella's, so. All right, folks, steady ends, over and out. Okay, bye. Dad. Bye.